with everybody. So because there's no free flow of conversation, mm. even when they go for interviews, like they're trying to get into a, a secondary school or university, they can't pick up a conversation because they're not used to it anymore. It's, you know... Monosyllabic. Yeah. yeah. Or, better still, it's text. Text mm. is. And then, of okay. course, because it's got its own language, then they're, they're trying to make the conversation even more short, you know, and, and you begin to wonder what exactly is going on. Have you ever been to a party? It's a party. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have fun <laughs> and dance. And, and what is everyone doing? On their phone. They're literally on their phone. Selfies. And yes, then they put it on selfies. And, and, and it's getting out of hand, to be honest. So the truth put it on my Facebook page that I'm at this yes, party. Yes, it's, it's like, put it on yes. Instagram. Oh. And then you wonder, this use of phone, that's where the manners and the rudeness comes into play. How are they using this phone? Is it to their benefit? Is it to their advantage? Or is it really to their disadvantage? So there are so many things. There are pros and there are cons. But then I think the etiquette part of it is what is important. How are they actually using the phone properly? So just like Auntie said, first of all, when the phone rings, what do you say? It's basic to say hello. But most of them say, yeah, who's this? Even when they have caller ID, and they can actually see who is on the other line. <laughs> it's still like, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, what's up, <laughs> you know? Oh, <laughs> and the truth is, you don't even know if it's an adult calling you, or you might not know if it's an adult calling you, and like, what's up? Something it up, what? You what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? And it, it's an issue, yeah, it's an issue. And the truth is, okay, Jeez. as an adult, are you teaching your children or your teenagers how to really use the phone? So when you pick up the phone and you get that, I guess as an adult we should scold the person immediately and say, oh, correct. And say, you know what, don't answer the phone like that anymore. Mm. You know, and don't say you guys and stuff like that. Always answer the phone with a simple hello. It's as basic and as the, that. But it's my classmate who's calling. It's yeah. Shade. She's my best friend. <laughs> you know. Hello is one important thing. Not who is this or yeah or yeah or whatever. You know, um, mm -hmm. how do they respond? Do they respond? Even when you're conversing with them, Try yourself as, you know, um, as an adult, calling maybe your nephew or your niece or whatever. How are the responses? Most times you expect to say, yes, sir, here, yes, sir, yes, ma, you know, yes, sir, yes, ma, or that kind of thing. But uh -huh. how are they responding? Is it politely or not? What about the tone of voice? Sometimes it's too low. Speak up, I can't hear you. <laughs> unless you guys, don't, uh, you know, unless, uh, you know, what happens is that you find that most of the teenagers always think they're talking to their age group. And that's how the responses come. So they're not polite, they're more rude than anything else. And the pitch of the voice is either too low or it's oh, way too high. Too high. You know, um, yeah. again, thinking that they're talking to, to their friends, you know. So courtesy is important for teenagers. Courtesy, it doesn't matter who's on the other end, whether it's your friend or not, you have to cultivate the, the you know, the um, class of courtesy whenever you're speaking on the phone. You never know who could be on the other end. And you might have you to make that phone it's, call. It's cool when it's yeah, their they friend it's cool. to be rude. Yeah, but then mm. because it becomes habitual, so when they're talking to anyone, it comes out the same way. Yeah. You know, sometimes they're muffled. You can't even hear what they're saying. <laughs> and it's a problem because when they get to interview stage and they get older, that's the they mumble impact. through. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. you find, you know, then, then again, you're talking. Are they listening? <laughs> <laughs> they're busy eating. Well, if it's, or doing if something it's else. mother, I can or assure you they're not the listening. TV. Yeah. And what we're trying to say is that whenever you pick up the phone as a teenager, concentrate on that phone call for that moment. Mm. Don't eat. Don't do anything else. Don't be on the laptop. Concentrate because it may be important information that you're receiving at that point in time. Mm. So try to concentrate and listen. Learn a listening skill is very important. Most times they're trying to multitask. I know they're millennials, mm. but then it can be detrimental at some point in time. Is it okay for them to pick up the phone while they're eating? Ideally, no. Well, this is it. Are you going to answer the phone with a muffle with with a whole bunch of with food, food in, in your, your mouth? mouth? <laughs> so you have to make up your mind. Do you want to finish the food and call the person back? you know, which I guess is a bit more polite because you can't be answering the phone with a mouth full of food, okay? And then I guess you have to come away with distractions. 
some people will actually tell you, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, and they're talking to someone else while they're on the phone with you. Mm. Or they're busy doing a whole lot of other things when they're on the phone with you. And I think, for me, that's, that's bad. And how many teenagers say bye-bye when they're on the phone? <laughs> Once you say, I'm going, you're going, they don't say bye-bye at all. So I guess the case is really about how they make calls and how they receive calls. Um, how do they make calls? Like I, I mentioned earlier, are they calling at wrong hours of the day? That's something that you need to monitor with your children, um, especially teenagers. They think it's cool to call when everyone else is asleep or when they think that they're really in their corner and nobody's going to know what they're doing. It's important that they know that there are some hours of the day <laughs> that they shouldn't make these calls. It makes common sense. And we're teaching them this because oh, sure. we want them to establish that when they get older, don't take these habits into, you know, your grown, grown state of mind. Mm, somebody actually called, when the days of uh, night, somebody actually called my house at 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh. And I picked up the phone and she whispered, is your mommy asleep? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I'm very much awake. Why are you calling my house at 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Thank you very much, Janet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Janet, um, I need to mm. etiquette coach, <laughs> telling us about <laughs> phone etiquette and teens and most of the things that she has said yes. um, many of us who have teenagers can identify with mm -hmm. thank you very much yes. she'll be back with a another good interesting topic next week yes. and we shall be back in just a moment with another interesting conversation don't go away